Hello my beautiful Taurus friends, how are you? Welcome to the channel if you're new. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back beautiful subscribers, thank you. And this is for the last two weeks in August for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mutual energy in the recent past, Hierophant. Current mutual energy, Two of Wands. How your beloved sees the situation currently. Ten of Cups. How they view you, the magician. In their heart space, they want happiness, temperance. How they view the situation with you, the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Cups is a mutual energy in your relationship right now, hidden. This is what's hidden, you don't see it. The Wheel of Fortune is the advice of the Spirit. Three of Cups is your outcome. This is a predictive reading, so some of it will resonate. Some of you will not be aware of what's going to unfold. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at the bottom of the deck energy. This one popped out. It does look like you could spice up your love life a little bit. Could use a little spiciness, a little heat. And let's see now. I'm going to cut the deck with the clarifiers. And at the bottom of the deck, we have four of swords. So both of you, you know, this can even be pandemic-related healing, but it also can be emotional healing. I see a pretty darn good reading here, though. I get both of you are tired, I, probably from overwork. Oh, look at that. You truly love each other. And the King of Wands wanting to take action, wanting a new beginning, wanting something fresh. That's what I'm getting here. You just are in the mood for something fresh and new within the parameters of what appears to be a lovely, committed relationship. Okay, so let's take a look at this reading. I love a good love reading really fun but i do want to get the bottom of the deck cards out i'm going to pull out the little mini story here okay the whole darn thing we get all of these lovely cards i like to tell a good story there we go easier to see what's happening in your love life when you know what the energy is right okay so now let's take a look and see why let's clarify the hierophant Tell us more about the Hierophant. What do we need to know about the Hierophant? The Hierophant is a marriage card. It's also a lot more. It's beliefs, traditions. It's the fact that you're both committed to one another, that you see the stairway to heaven. <laughs> I think of the song, but let's see. We're Okay, the Queen of Wands reversed. Okay, so it does look like sometimes things get a little out of hand. <laughs> There are times when both of you are so gung-ho on the relationship that you almost, you are, <laughs> it's almost as though it gets, uh, both of you have very strong opinions is what I'm seeing here. And sometimes you're not in agreement, which then has brought you to the energy of feeling as though you're at a crossroads and you need to make a choice. What kind of a choice is Taurus being called to make here and their person? The Emperor card. Which way to go? What's the plan, Stan? What's the plan, man? And so I'm getting the energy that both of you really, you need a plan. Because right now you look like you love each other, but you're not really quite sure what the strategy is. Because the Emperor Upright is all about strategy. So what we see here is your person loves you, loves you, loves you, and feels that you are there happily ever after, that the two of you are very devoted to each other. This did come out in the reverse, the moon card. It does show that both of you in the near future are going to be expressing a lot more love for one another. Uh, there's going to be a lot more sort of a gentleness, sort of a very sweet Pisces gentleness, nurturing energy between the two of you. Your person sees it coming, they will initiate, but you will follow along with it. It's a beautiful time of really understanding for you what is lovely in your relationship and what you both adore about one another and why it's so sweet. 
how they view you. We have two cards coming out here. Super strong, the magician. They see you as a magician. You can manifest anything. You're magical. The chemistry between the two of you is off the charts. Your person feels like you are sexy as can be. Their attractedness to you never loses any strength. This person is dedicated to you that you feel that they, they feel that you're dedicated to them. Magician card is clarifying the temperance card. In your person's heart space, they feel so madly in love with you. They want to make things work. They want things to balance out. The energy they're bringing in is magic also. Two magicians here. There must be some Gemini and Virgo energy either in your charts or in your composite chart, which is the chart of the relationship between two people. Composite charts are something I'll be looking at in the astrology section of the channel in the future. The Queen of Wands energy, they view the situation as hot, as sexy, as fun. As, you know, the two of you are very much like the hot couple that walk into a room that everybody kind of wants to know your name. It looks like friends really swarm around you. But this is really lovely because the Queen of Wands means that both of you really have a handle on your lives. You're both very mature. You're both, it's it's just a beautiful relationship. Okay, now we got the first card when I said you're both mature. Of course, I would get a page. Now, there may be a child in this situation, but it does show that the Queen of Wands is mostly focused on what she needs, what she wants. Uh, she's very powerful energy. So your person really views the two of you as being very powerful. Uh, but they, your partner also thinks both of you need to give more to each other, more heart space. That there's a lot of fire, there's a lot of passion. But sometimes your person feels as though it gets a little bit maybe almost like two kids playing as opposed to two adults really working at relationship take it for you know take it with a grain of salt if it isn't yours you know like all of the cards if it doesn't fit you it's it is a general reading treat it like a buffet table take what fits and fits your energy and what leave what doesn't so both of you are very, being very strategic at this time looking at the options you have within the relationship i don't think this is all about keeping your choices open but what it also says with the two of wands is that you're at a period of indecision like what direction are you strategically going to go in the relationship we have the energy of spirit advising the ace of coins with the three of cups as an engagement spirit is saying try on different solutions like if you don't know what direction to go be experimental come up with different ideas and don't make a commitment about one direction yet and i don't feel this is about the direction of your relationship but the direction that you're going to take as a couple so in other words what we're seeing is spirit is saying if you don't know where to live if you don't know what to pursue as a couple keep your options open okay try different things and don't make a decision until you have clarity, okay? So Ace of Coins and Three of Cups is when we put that ring on the finger, somebody kneels down and says, hey, you know, let's go ahead and see what comes of this. Let's see what you would say if you were proposed to. My dear Taurus, what would you say if you were proposed to? This Taurus energy has been running through, which is very much about stability. Look at that, we have a clarifier. There's a Four of Wands, Marriage Card, Ten of Cups, or, or, Ten of Cups, Marriage Card, the Hierophant, Marriage Card. So for some of you, you may be married. You might be coming to the reading to see what's happening because you feel a little bit unnerved or you don't really understand what's going on. But what is um, what is Spirit recommending for this outcome? Let's see. Eight of Wands, make a lot of love. <laughs> So my gosh, what a beautiful, uh, what a beautiful energy here for you, uh, my beautiful Taurus friends. Let's see what the Moonology deck is giving you for advice at this time. Have faith in your dreams. Okay. So really, the relationship looks pretty solid here. It looks as though you have decisions to make about your future, what you're going to do. I think this is much more on how to be a couple long term is the energy that you're both seeking the answers that you both seek 
look at like well okay now we know we love each other now where are we going to live what are we going to do how are we going to define ourselves within our coupledom as well as our our individuality within the couple relationship but you're very much in love okay so let's see and it's mutual completion closing one door so that another one opens so it does look like spirit is saying that you may move or make a really big decision about you know the next phase of life i like the energy shaman's dream oracle is what this is overflow overwhelm and plenty is yours taurus this is just beautiful Okay, so that is your reading, Taurus. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so grateful for your visit. Bye-bye.